wanted to do a quick video for you on my latest creation on my blog site, which are a set of boxes that come in um, a different, few different wraps and a few different sizes. There's a couple of different size boxes and a couple of different size wraps that go with these boxes. Uh, there's tutorials and a blog post um, on my blog which details everything there for you, but I just wanted to kind of show you how that how they all work together. And basically, the idea for this came about because. Um, I often find that it's difficult to get boxes in the size that I need to fit our Australian size standard cards and envelopes uh, in together. Now we can often find boxes that fit the cards but not along with the envelopes because their envelopes are a little bit bigger. So I wanted to create a box to give as a gift box which is with a set of cards and envelopes in and then of course I couldn't stop there. I wanted to make a, a little bit, bit of a bigger gift. So this is what I came up with. Basically, it's just a bit of a wrap that sits around um, a tower of, I've got three boxes here. But you can, on the blog site, just purchase the tutorials for this little um, card box. So it does fit a standard size Australian card and matching envelope and room for you to get your hands in there and pull those um, cards out. So it's based on the framelits um, from Stamping Up. I absolutely love these and it gives the, the box a really kind of nice feature to it. It's also designed so that you can get them out of A4 cardstock. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, another feature for me. Because um, when you're making card boxes to fit the envelopes, you find that you need actually bigger and bigger cardstock. And so I um, have designed these so that you get the little um, base at least out of an, an A4 piece of cardstock. So I've just got a couple of different designs there. So they're the um, little card boxes. And you can find the tutorial for that on my blog site. If you make a set of three card boxes, <clears throat> like I've done here, they actually will stack together and they'll fit inside the large wrap, and it's called the large wrap. And it basically just fits up and around your stack of three boxes and then you tie a ribbon on that. So once I made those ones, I moved on and I wanted to actually make some little treat boxes as well. So these are the treat boxes. And they have a matching wrap. And it's the small wrap for these guys. And same principle as before, they're based on the framelit dies and got the same little feature. Of course, you're using a different size framelit for these boxes because they're a bit smaller, but same principle, they open up um, and it, they've got a, a recess bit in there, but you can fit your treats in there. You can fit uh, also fit in these ones a box of 100 stamps um, for Australian stamps that you can get. And the whole idea behind these ones, while these ones go, two of those go together in the small wrap, the idea is that they're also um, transferable across to the large wrap. So my original gift that I wanted to give, I wanted to give someone um, cards and envelopes in the bottom box and then I was going to give them um, a packet of stamps and then a, set, a little set of punch greetings so they could add their own greetings to their cards. And if you put two of the treat boxes with a card box, they also fit inside the large wrap. So you can coordinate um, and mix up the boxes. You can buy the small boxes separate to the large boxes and then you can buy um, the wraps if you want just the wraps but basically if you buy the whole um, box and wrap set you get both boxes um, so the card box and the treat box plus you get the dimensions for the two wraps the large and the small one okay go over to my blog guys and check that one out and if you do buy the tutorials there's a private video tutorial which actually shows you how to assemble both of them and all the detail around cutting out those little decorative fronts on your boxes okay thanks for looking and i hope you enjoy that one